Hi everyone, welcome to Ready to Read Fridays with Miss Marie. I hope that you are ready and excited to listen to stories all about snow and snowmen. I know I am. Let's get ready. We'll sing our welcome song together on the count of three. One, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, my friends. Well, our first book will be When Winter Comes. Because that is the season that we are in right now. And when it becomes winter, we wear, hmm, we wear coats on our bodies, hats on our heads, mittens on our hands, and boots on our feet. Hmm. That's to all keep us warm during the cold winter months. And we get to listen and see all about winter. When Winter Comes, written by Nancy Van Lan and illustrated by Susan Gaber. Okay, the publisher is, uh, let's see, an Ann Schwartz book, which is by Anthonyum Books for Young Readers, or Simon & Schuster. Whew, that was a long publisher's name. Let's get started. Huh, I see some leaves falling and some snow together. Huh, we recently seen that too, didn't we? Not too long ago. Where, oh, where do the leaves all go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Hmm. The leaves go tumble, tumbling down. Snow is their blanket. Their bed is the ground. Where, oh, where do the flowers go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Ooh. Hmm, where do those flowers go? That's a great question. Their petals wilt. That means they, they kind of like get a little brown. But their seeds burrow down to rest underneath the leaves golden crown. Where, oh, where do the caterpillars go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Inside their cocoons, so tightly wound, waiting for spring to bring green to the ground. See that cocoon right there? Where, oh, where do the songbirds go? when winter comes and the cold winds blow. There's a little bird's nest up there. South they fly, warm weather bound to bask in the sun on the soft, mossy ground. Where, oh, where do the field mice go when the winter comes and the cold winds blow? Hmm. There he is. Field mice tunnel under the ground and rest in a nest thick with thistle down. Where, oh, where do the dapple deer go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Dappled deer wander, making no sound. They rest closely knit under trees in a mound. 
where, oh, where do the fish will go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Deep under they swim when the pond's icy bounds. In the dark, they quietly circle around. Where, oh, where does our little one go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Oh, where do little children go? In a warm, warm bed when winter comes round, listening to the wind with its gusting sound, watching the snow as it falls to the ground. Snuggling deep, fast asleep. And that is the story of When Winter Comes. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, we're going to sing a song and we need a little space. So I'm just going to move my camera out a little bit, clear the way because we are going to do the Snokey Pokey. You ready? Okay, so it's just like the Hokey Pokey, but it's just a little bit different. We're going to get, oh, I need to move my chair just a little bit more. Okay. So we need to wiggle our fingers, move our legs and our feet, shake them out, get ready to go and get ready to move. You ready? You need to know your right hand. So let's do your right hand. And then you're gonna take your right hand out. But instead of your hand, we're gonna say mitt. You ready? You put your right mitt in, in, you take your right mitt in out. You put your right mitt in, in, and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. Now we're gonna do our left mitten. Ready? You put your left mitten in, you put your left mitten out, you put your left mitten in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, now what we need to do is put your boot in, you ready? You put your right boot in, you take your right boot out. You put your right boot in and you shake it all about. You do the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Now we need to do our left boot. You put your left boot in, you take your left boot out. You put your left boot in and you shake it all about. You do the, the snokey perky and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Now we're gonna do our hat. So put on your hat on your head. You put your hat in, you take your hat out. You put your hat in and you shake it all around. You do the, hope, the snokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yay! Very nice job, everyone. I'm gonna move my camera back so we can read the next story. I hope you enjoyed getting up and dancing with me. All right, our next story is the snowman book. This book is special because, well, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to see for yourself in a minute. It is written by Carolyn Booner and also Mark Booner. And it's also illustrated by them. The publisher is Dial Books for Young Readers. Are you ready? The snowman pup a book. There's a boy making his snowman, building it nice and tall. Whoa. 
One wintry day, I made a snowman very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark. Off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. Let me see if I can get him to move. There we go. No one knows just how it starts, but soon it's quite a sight with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Whoa, they yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. They have some fun when they, go, when they play at night. So they had a snowball fight. They also went sledding. Oh, they had a lot of fun. I wonder if you do any of those things in the snow. Hmm. All right. Well, let's sing a song. Are you ready? It's called I'm a Little Snowman. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons, here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I cannot play. I just slowly melt away. Let's do that one more time. You ready? I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons. Hands. Here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I cannot play. I just slowly melt away. Yay! Thank you so much. I love how you sang and moved with me. Let's read our last book before we go for the day. And it is called, let's see, the snowball. Okay, this book is written by David Steinberg, the illustrator, the illustrator, oh, I'm sorry, Who? a little tongue tie. The illustrations are by Liz Conrad. And this is published by Price Stern Sloan books, which is part of Penguin Books. It's called The Snowball. Little polar bears all covered in fluff with scarves and mittens and little earmuffs. Oh, they're nice and warm. Go thump thump galumping through the snow to play. No school, cheer the bears. It's another snow day. All swooping down a snow slide, go bears go. Making bear angels in the feathery snow. They sculpt a snow bear with a pipe and a hat. Look out for flying snowballs, splat, splat.
<laughs> oh, look at that snow castle. Bears go flopping on the ice for a ride, but lumping on their bellies, going slippity slide. Next, skip scat skadoodle up the icicle hall, where little bears gather for a snow day ball. Bears sing, bears dance, bears stomp their feet. Oh, let's sing. Bears sing, la 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 la. Bears dance, bears stomp their feet. Soon, all the bears are clumping out a big bear beat. Bears bounce, bears bump, bears pounce, twirl, jump, till they all flump down on their polar bear rumps. Tired little bears in a furry little heap. One by one, Papa Bears take them home to sleep. Beneath the northern lights, Mamas tuck them in their beds as dreams of endless snow days go galumping through their heads. And that's the story of the snowball. Before we say goodbye, let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Are you ready? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And enjoy watching this video over and over all month long. We'll see, see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.